today we will we didn't do a video in a long time so we will be doing Canon's 150s and we're going to have all the Canada um candies here and I will be trying everything and um if you think wine gums is um Canadian um put it in comments below we're not sure if it is we looked online but we but we people might be wrong so if you think that wine gums are Canadian please comment down below and we'll be trying all these different kinds they're mostly chocolates um one is a gummy so let's start and this is caramel and if you know so if you see here it says there's like a question mark and a lock here lock and a question mark on it then then um um there's a secret how they put the caramel inside the chocolate so if you know i'm not sure my dad knows because he used to work so if you know comment down below again and this is out of 10 canada flights i would recommend this in nine because um i like chocolate but it tastes like normal chocolate and it's caramel so like it's really ordinary so let's move on next is chocolate covered raisins so um I, um i might give this a five because i don't like raisins but i like chocolate and i never knew that some um that these chocolate covered raisins sometimes um they they um put the chocolate into white chocolate so it like looks more cooler and from this out of 10 canada flags it is um a nine because it tastes better now and it's it has like a swedish taste to chocolate so it makes it it's like a fruity and chocolate mixed together and it tastes good it tastes like uh apple covered with chocolate so let's move on to the next one this is an omg i think it is a chocolate covered nut basically and and um it tastes like chocolate it's crunchy it has some nuts and um it it takes a long time to chew and if you're wondering um um how how um they put the nuts in chocolate um comment down below i know maybe you don't know so if you comment i'll um we can maybe comment back so um if you want to do that we'll come back to you and omgs i um um i'm not sure if they stand for anything like like um, why would they be calling them OMGs? Um, so if they're if you if they stand for anything, please comment down below and tell me, cause I don't know. I think my dad doesn't know. So, um, um, let's move on. To I think this is big get break big turk fights. Um, we oh it tastes actually it tastes like a gummy stuck in chocolate this is weird how they make it it's like it's like really thin chocolate and then a stuck gum inside it tastes like gummies that i had before there must be a gummy bear stuck into chocolate and they make like thin pieces of chocolate stick a gummy bear in it make more so it's a shape of I guess whatever this shape is. 
and he goes around again. Um, and this is actually never, I thought it was just chocolate big turk, but I never knew it. So, um, most of the people should know this, but. Rating. What? Rating. Oh, this is, uh, 10 because I do not know how creative they put a gummy stuck into chocolate. And the next is Smarties. If you don't know this, there is a trick to blue. Blue just came out like about four years ago. Because they used to not have blue. And they and they said, um, do you, what color do you want to add? And they said blue. So here's the blue one. And these are just like a colorful chocolate, but the chocolate's inside is hard. It's supposed to be putting in cookies, cakes, and other things. So let's try it. Crunchy and chocolatey. It's like a crunchy chocolate, but without like with nuts. I think it's it's better than these. So compare these, it's better. This is a 10 out of 10 because it's not regularly put like chocolate. It's more like not, it doesn't taste like chocolate. It tastes like another pair of chocolate. So let's go on Brookside. I never knew Brookside was Canadian. And now you can know that maybe there's a blueberry stuck in here. Only oh, blueberry, dried blueberry. So in the inside, it doesn't show what this shows. Um, it does taste like a blueberry stuck with chocolate. So, um, if you like chocolate and you like blueberries, then you might like chocolate blueberries, and you. I get Brookside a lot. Mm. I had it for birthdays. There's raspberries. There's sometimes strawberries. And sometimes I saw it once. Pineapple. And apple. And all these other things. So. um, So. you If you, if you like. Again blueberries. And like other berries maybe. And chocolate. And you will love this. Just if you like it, um, you could comment down below, and um, we'll comment back and we'll find more things about this, and we'll tell you more about it where you could find it and all this stuff. Now, rating, rating. Um, this is a ten out of ten because how they put a blueberry into chocolate. Um, maybe they. So first I put the blueberry in, then I make the chocolate dough for it. They put the blueberry around the chocolate. So and then when it's in the store, the blueberry dries up and the chocolate dries so it's in this hard shell and the blueberry is just stuck in there, all melting. So, so um, if you, um, okay, so now on. we're gonna go into the Maltesers. This is a Malteser. It looks like it's gonna be like a nut or something inside. Um, and I, so we're at Dollarama, and we, so my dad was um looking if um Mr. Big or something was um was Canadian. And he's like, and then I saw Maltesers, and he's like, oh yeah, Maltesers, and then I got it, and here's it, now I'm going to taste it. The word is exactly like the package, but in a photocopier, it, it's like, it's a soft nut. It's like a really, really soft nut, and not like crunch, crunch, just like a little crunch, crunch, and... And um, you see, like really, it's really light. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's like a light, light nut. So 
The next one that won. Rating. Okay. Rating. Oh, yeah. My rating is 10 out of 10 because it's like a light, light nut, and I never um, had a light, light nut except for Kit Kat. Okay. So the next one is called Panomine, Palomine, I mean. And from Ganago. Ganong. Ganong. Um, this was the first um, chocolate um, bar made in Canada. So this would be a really, really ch um, Canada. And it's, um, it's really big. I think this is giant, giant form, I'm not 100%, because it's almost as big as giant coffee crisp. And here comes the first chocolate bar. It's really, really old. Hmm. Tastes like a chewy chocolate with like parts of nuts inside, and it looks like parts of nuts. It looks like crumbled nuts inside with like caramel inside. I taste the caramel, and um, Palomine, I. I, I was like, why was my dad taking this? And then my dad t told me a story like about five, five, 20 minutes ago. And then I was like, wow. And um, this is how he knows. So when he was at Target, he used to um, go to Target. Some of that owned dad, whatever this place is. Ganong. Ganong. Um, um, they're grandson was named I think was like something Ganong I'm not 100 and he used to come to Target because that's where my dad used to work but then it broke down so and that's how we know so let's move to next well, did you give it a rating oh yeah I'm um, rating out of 10 because my this is really old it's really cool how um someone um, from like the first cho first chocolate factory, um, met my dad and now he knows the story. So let's move on. To what one. was the rating? I said. What? Ten out of ten. Oh, okay. Okay. Now let's move on to wine gums. We're not hundred percent about this. If this is Canadian, so please comment below. Now try. Chewy. Tastes like a lemon. This is yellow. Mostly tastes like a gummy bear, but really, really chewy. It tastes like these hair boo gummies. They're really, really chewy. And, and they taste like other things like this is sour cherry and other stuff. It's really, really good. That's gonna taste like wine, but I don't want to like because um I went to churches and I had wine. So it does gonna taste like wine, but it actually doesn't. So let's move on. Rating. To, um rating ten out of ten. Okay. Do do the maple candy last. Um because it's I never knew it's gonna not taste like wine. And because the uh, um, name is wine gum, so it doesn't even taste like wine. That's interesting that they don't taste like wine, even though they're wine gums. Even though you don't know what wine tastes like? Yeah, I do. I, I had <laughs> okay. it at church. Oh, yeah, I, forgot. I forgot. Okay, now it's coffee crisp. You got a piece from my dad. Um, so coffee crisp is basically um, coffee, chocolate, and um, a crisp, like crispy chocolate, basically. Crispy coffee chocolate. That's what I named coffee crisp. And um, my dad was like, and also um, it says everybody, everywhere in this teal, this teal. Nestle. Nestle, Nestle, That's everywhere. Um, because 
I think this is the one that was made in Winnipeg. No, no it was no. Mr. Big. No, it was Brookside. Oh yeah, it's Brookside that was made in Winnipeg. Um, so. No, no, sorry, it was OMGs. OMGs, OMGs that were made. Um, Brookside, Vancouver, or BC, yeah. or something. Um, so it's as a check mark. I think I think it has nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, please don't have this. Only if it's not these same nuts. And I rate this. Did I do rating? No. Um, I rate this ten. I mean nine. I mean five five. Because I don't really like how it tastes like coffee. Because I had those lints, and the coffee was disgusting for me. And um, this tastes like the same things, but it's crispy. That's the only good part. So let's move on to Mr. Big. So I was sorry for you. Um, when they said, they used to say, um, which one would you pick if you got to pick a boat? Coffee Crisp or Mr. Big? My dad always chose Mr. Big because it's the biggest. So you get it, Mr. Big? Biggest? Um, so I have another story my dad just, just told me. That when I just came on my, my mom's tummy, they put a shirt on me, my very first shirt, and it said Mr. Big because my name is Andre, and I'm Andre the Giant, so it's like big. And um, it looks like so far, it's like a caramel nut and chocolate, and there's like particle, like there's little bumps. And it looks like OMGs kind of, but it's more flatter OMGs. So let's try it. Hmm. It's just like walnuts or coconut with wait. Caramel white like caramel and chocolate. Like it's like a nutty caramel super nutty and caramel um chocolate. I don't even see it. Like all those nuts stacked up with um all the caramel and the chocolate around. I'm not a big fan of caramel and um, nuts. I'm not. I don't really like nuts, so I'll give this like about two because I only like chocolate. But there's other things that I don't like at all. So let's go on the last things. My dad shot. My dad like told me like four minutes ago that I should do these last. I. I think these are gummy version, but these are maple candy gummies, I think they're called. And I had maple candy before at Fourth Alley with my class and my mom volunteered, so she had two. And these are like, if you smell it, it smells like, and it tastes, smells and tastes sometimes happens to me. Um, like, Maple syrup, and it has this little Canada leaf on it. Um, and that's why we put it in for Canada's 150th, because it's a Canada leaf. So, <coughs> okay. people might not know what maple syrup is. Like, where yeah, does it come maple from? Maple syrup is from Forest Valley. They. Um, and they, there's different kinds. There's dark maple syrup, there's light maple syrup, there's heavy maple syrup, and light ma maple syrup, and I learned it. Um, and they come from maple, um, maple trees, I think. Maple. I'm not sure what it's called, but I know how to make them. So you step this little, like, I think, like, there's a little hole in the tree, like a little, um, so you put it in. And you hit the hammer in, and then it's and you put the bucket down. And you wait like about 15 minutes, and then it will be full. You bring it back, and you make lots of maple syrup. It's easy, and there's like about 500 there, but more. And um, let's try it. <laughs> it's a hard candy. Oh yeah, it's hard candy. Suck on it for a bit. 
Good thing this is last because it's a sucker. Hmm. It tastes like maple syrup, maple syrup candy, maple candy, but in hard way. Like when I was trying to bite on it, I was like, what's happening? And then my dad told me it's a, a sucker. Cause I'm, good thing it last because it's a sucker and I won't be able to go through any of these. So, rating? Um. A 10 because I love maple candy a lot. And I like how it's a sucker. The, the last time I had it was like a gummy kind or something. Okay. Now tell everyone your favorite out of all these Canadian My candies. My favorite of a Canadian <clears throat> candy is a um, Thai of, um, what's it called? Wine, Wine gums and maple candy. Hmm. Okay. And, and, um, and, uh, where is it? There. These. How creative these are. And like Turk? Yeah. Okay. And if you're going to make your own Canadian candy, what would you do? Like if you're um, American, and I see these videos on YouTube, of these people saying American, um, Crying Canadian, so if you like to do that, you should have all these candies, roast of them, and try them. And this one is supposed to have it, so have it if you've seen my video. Have it. And that's it for my video. And bye. C comment lots of times on what I said to comment, so bye, guys.